Okay, we live from the crib. We vibe with Vito. I, I got a nigga. special yeah. guest in the building. This is my personal partner. I know I say that on a lot of episodes. I know everybody, but I really know this nigga. You know what I mean? Introduce yourself, big dog. Yes, sir, man. You already know the kid tone to go on the check in, aka Young Tone. And a lot more, man, you know? Man, I appreciate you for coming, bro. Man, I, I, I had to rush over here. You know, this was mandatory. But you a busy man, you know what I mean? Uh, with the movies, the, you know what I mean? The videos, yeah. music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Talk to the people, man, because uh, if they don't know who you are, like I know who you are, mm-hmm. introduce yourself and tell them what you got going on. Because you just uh had the success with Boosie with the water film. Yep, the water yep, 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 yep. Um, you do a lot of things, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It, that'd be the fun part, Vito, man. I mean, you you've been there to see a lot of the, the, the growth and the and the transformations and the changes and all of that. But uh it get interesting now, like when people ask because I've piled up so many different accolades and, and different uh characteristics or attributes or whatever, you know, but I do I wear so many different hats. So when it's when it's when it's time to break down who I am, it's like, man, That's I can't ne- yeah, I, I can say it, but it ain't gonna take five minutes or ten. You know, but <laughs> right. in a nutshell, man, artist, filmmaker, engineer, actor you know, and, and, and a plethora of other things, but that's, that's the top of the list right there. Entrepreneur as well. Bro. It's, it's so crazy because I seen your growth firsthand. Yeah. You know what I mean? From, from, from with the music, we started off at like from skating rings to bro, to, to venues to where you had the Ritz going crazy back in the day. Yep. No cuffing. Yep. We can talk about that. It's just so many, it's so many directions this conversation can go Mm -hmm. in. So I'm gonna let you lead. So what are some of the accolades that you are most like, pleased and proud with mm-hmm. you know what i mean that you can really say damn bro i did that uh coming out the gate out of high school 17 when i had first got my first uh record deal or whatever my f- song hit the radio it was called the jerk and it peaked that on the billboard at number four Crazy. and at the time i wasn't too appreciative of, of that success because billboard didn't mean too too much at, you know as a 17 year old billboard is like okay you know but what does that really mean but now looking back yeah and only having maybe like like uh, as a solo artist, I probably have about nine Billboard records, so I know how big just one is. Let's you know, go. It, let's it, go through them. Let's go man, through them. Man, uh, well, for for one, you know, you got the crank that Spider Man. Crazy. You know, seven million views. YouTube. People don't dropped. even know. Yeah. Like people don't even know that, yeah, bro. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Crank that Spider Man yeah, was big, bro. Yeah. Uh, then of course, like I said, the jerk. Okay. Um, then we we go down the line. I did uh two songs. Well, I did five songs on the Who's Your Caddy soundtrack. One so, and this was in 2007. One sold to uh, Marion and uh, Bow Wow for okay. the Face Off album they did. Okay. Uh, then the four other songs actually played in the movie and made the soundtrack, and two of them placed on the billboards. One of them called Booty Clap featuring Fergie. Right. A lot of folks don't know about that. Uh, and the other one was called. Um, nigga, you work with Fergie, nigga. Yeah, yeah. In in the flesh, you know what I'm saying. But um, Damn. and this is this 07. You know what I'm saying. So this when Black Eyed Peas was out there. Fergalicious yeah, yeah, was yeah. it was real then, you nah, know. That's crazy. Yeah. That's that's definitely um, accolade. And then it's I man, I, I tell you it, it it piles up. That's that's no cuffing, of course. Uh mm-hmm. let's go up, hit the uh billboard. And I don't know, man, my mind gets gets lost. It's, it, Cause I also, after a while, like I just got I, I'm supposed to get a gold plaque now for nasty nasty. I engineered that for Boosie and Mulatto. So it's like All I'm right. hitting billboard now in a whole lot of other ways. That right. wasn't even the original right. plan. Right, so, right, right. You know, it's yeah. So you, <clears throat> I would say that you probably are just like a big manifester when it comes down to certain things because I, I can feel the aura. Like, yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? When a person walk in the room, I already know. Like, you know what I mean? But in terms of that, did you know that, bro, I'm probably going to blow up in a whole different lane versus music when you was just in the music heavy? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so when no, no, so let me, let me say this. When you were doing shows with no cuffing going mm-hmm. all over the world, mm-hmm. Did you ever think you would break away from the music to do other things that still in, intertwine with the music and blow up even further than that? You get what I'm saying? Uh, I, I always knew that um, acting was going to be a part of it because act, I've been doing acting just as long as music. Right. So I knew somehow, some way I was going to figure out how to intertwine it and get it in there. I didn't know if it was going to you know, be able to match the, the level of success right. I, I, right. I obtained in music right. or anything like that. Right. But now looking at it, I don't think... Um, I don't think I think my my film work will live longer than my music. Facts. You know, because music, like I think we was in we was just like music is so young. Mm-hmm. So like imagine fifty more years on top of the fifty years of hip hop that we all got that accumulated. Like it's gonna be so much music for people to like it's gonna right, be hard for right. music to live forever. Right, it's gonna be right, so much of right, it. You know, right. um but films 
films like don't go away. I mean, right. like, like you know, films be passed down and passed down and passed down. It's That's appreciated crazy. the same way. Like you could pass down Michael Jackson music, but that Thriller ain't gonna be a pre- my son ain't gonna appreciate Thriller. You right, know, versus. but he can watch Friday and he might appreciate it the <laughs> right, way right, we appreciate right, right. it. You know, facts, facts, facts. Oh, so, you know. So like, bro, like, cause I, I always battle with that. You know, we artists, bro. So it's like pulling away from what you think may be your God given like way yeah, in the dough. Yeah. It always be like fucking with my mental sometimes yeah, too. Yeah. So like, was that something that you were battling with too? Like, was that like something on your mind too as well? Like, damn, if I if I do this, would it be hard for me to drop another project? And people were like, you know, receive it well because they already fucking with me doing this. That's what, what I mean? took it so long. That's that's exactly what took it so long because um, I've had all of these talents from, you know, for the longest. Uh, but that fear of people not accepting me as an artist anymore mm-hmm. or not appreciating the music no more because this part is so good, which mm-hmm. I dealt with a lot of it long, along the way. Like I remember. I didn't want to get into engineering too heavy because when I used to engineer people, they'd be like, man, you might need to just engineer, bro. Yo, yeah, yo, it's nice. like, what you, you <laughs> tell me? Why you what? Right, right, like, right, right. I don't want to hear that. Like, you right. know, so don't do too much engineering because I don't want to hear that. You right, know, and right. then when I used to produce beats, it'd be like, boy, yo, beat so sick, man. You might just need, right. don't tell me what I might. Right, I, right. I'm on to let something right here. Yeah, let, I'm, let I'm, me, I'm, let I'm me figure out what so I want to do. You that, know what I mean? that did stall the process of just, you know, spreading my wings full and, you know, flourishing, but. Right, you know, I'm that ain't there no more. You right, know? yeah. Right. Plus, that. uh, people like Tyler Perry's and people like Ice Cube's and Do people you look up to those individuals. Yeah, people? definitely for uh for for you know specific things. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, definitely like like with Tyler Perry, you know, for him to start on that stage, you know, crazy. Like he started on the stage, you know, right. like in a dress. To be right. where he at now, you know, that's... Sleeping in his car, too. Sleeping by, in his by, car by as way. well, you know, but that right, he's seen his vision definitely before anybody else's, and I think that's what it takes ultimately. People going to try to trick you out of your vision right. every step along the way. Facts. We in a world of, like, content where, like, it's like everything is microwavable, yes. right? Yes, it's fast. And things come out fast, so yeah. quick, yeah. and people be yeah. on to the next. When you first started doing the engineering, did you already know, like, you did you have a goal in mind, like, look, I want to work with X amount of people, to give me X amount of, you know what I mean? Did you have that going into that? Or are you just like, fuck it, I'm head first? Nah, nah, I, man, it's crazy. Like, I was, I started engineering because I wanted to make a song. So I started engineering right. without. You engineered our song, too, that we did back in the day. Man, at, I remember, at your, at your yeah, house. At, my, at my pop's apartment. He yeah. still got that same as yeah. that apartment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, um, nah, I didn't even know I, it was called engineering when I first did it. I just knew I wanted to record a song and Thanks. I didn't know nobody that knew how to record it. Thanks. So Thanks. started recording. I actually I actually passed my literature class 12th grade year. Songs on the radio, so my whole second semester I didn't go to no no school. You had to have four years of literature and four years of math. So I was failing both of them second semester. I passed my literature class by doing a music video, writing a song about Othello, then doing a music video to it. So like I literally passed my, I passed school, 12th grade right. from doing what I'm doing now. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So, That's hard. That's yeah. hard. And I engineered the song and wrote this. I did everything I'm doing now then to pass 12th grade. You bro, know, you got a story, bro. Yeah. Do you ever think about like doing like a, a documentary on yourself, on your life? Yeah, I got it wrote already. I think, I think that should be fucking amazing. Yeah. Because even we didn't even talk about you linking with future. Yeah. We didn't even say that. Yeah. You was a part of Free being Band Gang to too. Be, yeah. Being signed to Future yeah. too. Yeah. We didn't even talk about that. We, nah. He left that out because he'd be so humble with the <laughs> shit. He left that shit out. Yeah. He didn't want to give y'all too much, but I, I spilled the beans yeah. a little nah, bit. Nah, definitely. But nah, like, you know what I mean? I think that shit would be like crazy, bro, because you got a story, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? In terms mm-hmm. of Atlanta, they got to put you in, you know how they be doing them like. Them, them events where it's like everybody who had who was in a genre like of the Atlanta wave from like the futuristic to the crunk, mm-hmm. they gotta put Young Tone in that shit mm-hmm. too. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So if they did a fifty years of Atlanta hip hop, they gotta have Young Tone. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Tone to go. That'd be, you know what I mean? Be, that'd be why I really man, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like man, that'd be I'm I, I'm all for it. You know, I, yes. I ain't against it, but. Man, what I'm after now, now that I know, like, what I've become, what I'm after now, like, I'm literally just getting started. And I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, nah, nah, it it sounds crazy because, you know, to a lot of people, they just think I'm just getting started. So it, yeah. it is what it is. But, like, the success that I, I just feel like it was seasoning. It was all just, like, 
it was all just like to prepare right. to take right. off, you know, right. like right. so. Right. Man, I think this gonna be. I think I'm gonna be a a, a model be, for, for a sure. lot of uh, for sure. You already versatile are. people that want to do are, a lot bro. of stuff. You are already yeah. a household name, like yeah. you know what I mean. You a marquee out here, you yeah. know what I mean. Folks yeah. know who the hell yeah. Tone is, yeah. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this question, bro, because you know, back in the day when we was growing up, bro, who did I tell you was my favorite rapper? Boost. Definitely. Why, I remember, why I remember I tell, when you why told me. Why did I tell you Boosie was my favorite rapper? I tell you, I don't remember fully, but I remember you telling me you was from Louisiana. That's what born I do remember yeah. vividly. I don't think it was Baton Rouge. I don't think it was. Louis, it was New Orleans. I was born New in New Orleans. Orleans. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, I was about to say, I didn't think it was Shreveport. I think it was New Orleans. Yeah. But right. this was so long ago. I, I want to say, like, what was going on, we was out in the atrium parking lot. Yeah. He was driving. Yeah. We was going to a fashion show. I want to yeah. say this some something we I don't I can't remember vividly, but it was like an event. But yeah. you, we was going. You was playing this music, and be honest, I didn't. I wasn't rocking. I I was listening to <laughs> Webby at the time. Right, I, right. You was, I was like, okay, right, right, right. right. You was playing blue. All right. So then y'all then y'all link. So yeah. it was so crazy. Me seeing that, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm that's like, this. Bro, like my bro, we literally yeah. talked about yeah. this shit. Yeah, and now. You basically living my dream that I wanted yeah, to. Because, yeah. like, you know what I mean? In terms of, like, Boosie, like, that's my, like, bro, I grew up on yeah, this nigga shit. Yeah, like, yeah, from the songs yeah. I quit to all of this album. Yeah, I got the green CD. Yeah, like, yeah. so if you see this shit, nigga, I got CDs yeah, on CDs. Yeah. You gonna have to sign that shit, man. I think, like, I think people, not to cut you off, bro, but I, it, it, like, in Atlanta, one thing I didn't notice with me being, a, being able to move with him. People in Atlanta don't get it like that. Even though, like, people will be like, yeah, Boosie the Rizzo, Boosie the Rizzo. They don't get it. Like, it's hard to even get it if nah, you don't, Boosie. like, go out there and really feel like people, and no shade. Now, and it, this, is a, this is a tough topic for me, but uh, Wayne, Wayne the greatest rapper alive for me. For sure. But Wayne, not the biggest rapper in Louisiana. Like, I don't sure. know how that makes sense. Boosie is definitely the me? biggest rapper in Louisiana. And Wayne, Wayne is the greatest rapper. Wayne is the... Okay, so let's put it like this. Wayne is... The legend of Louisiana. Wayne made all this shit kind of like yeah. possible. If I'm going to shine the light. Face of music. I put face, it for Louisiana. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. If we talking about Louisiana music, Wayne is that. Boosie is a fucking legend. Like in the South, period. Bruh. People don't understand. It's like like if you go to Mississippi and like all Bruh. of these places like yes. that. Even Texas. Bruh. Boosie is that nigga. Bruh, people treat their kids better because... Of Boosie, people yeah, treat facts. they they women, but people just do things like people want to live like Boosie. People want to rap like Wayne. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like people want to live daddy, like him. Daddy love you. He got songs that you can literally listen to and like mirror that around your life. Yeah, I don't facts. have kids, but I'm singing that shit. I'm like, damn, this for my this for my kids. I'm you about, you about to manifest it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like it's like <laughs> Boosie got them songs to where it's like, damn, I can feel this shit. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't have yeah. a baby mama, but listening yeah. to baby mama is like, yeah. damn, I hate you already. Yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> know what I mean? like, like, damn, I already hate you. Like, you know what I mean? Nah, I feel you, yeah. But it's like, it's like, like, seeing you with Boosie, I felt like I got them, I, I made it seeing yeah. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I was happy yes. for you. I'm like, yes. nigga, I remember having this conversation yeah. with, with my dog, telling him about Boosie. Yeah. And now you, you side by side with Shawty, like, that was you know that I mean? was a part of the manifestation, how, how, right? How now. did how did that happen? Was Man. that a part of the, like? Did you always? Well, you didn't always want to work with him, but like, how did y'all? It even was link? manifested. It was manifested further after that. Like, yeah. Um, when when me and the mother of my kids, when we had met, her favorite artist was Boosie, and like she yeah. used to, she used to play this nigga so much. Man, it was it was no way I couldn't learn his music. Like she used to play him like so Damn. much. Like same way she used to play R and B jams and stuff like that. Like if she's play some rap, it'd probably be Boosie. You Boosie know what I'm saying? So hits. like, I started. Indulge into his music, and I, it started standing out to me that his music reminded me of like early Ti music. I'm serious trap music, where like mm-hmm. the music was hard, the lyrics was hard, but the engineering mm-hmm. was ass. Mm-hmm. So I started listening to Boost Me. I'm like, damn man, this nigga need me to engineer. Mm-hmm. Boy, if only I could engineer this nigga music, boy. Wait, what he said? Boy, I make right. sure the world could hit this nigga. Right. Like, that's how I was thinking, right. and then right. ultimately, like it really it. It, it, the story even cr- crazy. I had say no more. I come, okay. Um, and that's another part of yeah. uh, uh, you know. But boom, had say no more. I come. Streets ninety five had a concert. They allowed say no more. I come to come out for media. Boom, we got an interview from Boosie. I only had three tickets, so I let my staff go. Like I literally eliminated eliminated, my, uh, eliminated myself out of the equation just to get the do- job done for the sake of the platform. Boom, when I was watching it, they were, it was another thing in my head. Like, damn, I knew I should have went out there. Man, mm-hmm. they were like, my people was right here with, with him. Me. Interview. 
if I was there, it, you know, saying something like, "Dang, I missed out." So that was kind of like a part of the manifestation right. as well, right. you know, which grows it. But uh, it was manifesting, and ultimately, I was doing a song for Young Scooter. He featured Boosie on it. Boosie came to do his verse. I engineered him. He was like, "Man, you the coldest engineer I ever met," and now we here. It was like that. Just like that. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? The nigga said, yeah. I never seen, a, that's another thing I never, like a nigga say some shit that's kind of far reached. Like the nigga told me that day, he was like, boy, you the coldest engineer I ever met. He told this nigga, he said, quick, get his number. Boom. He said, this nigga coming with me. I'm thinking in my head, like, man, I know, it, life ain't about to change like that. I know this nigga. Like, like yeah. Boosie, Boosie yeah. getting home. This the biggest rapper we didn't ever. Right. You talking about a nigga getting out right. of jail since right. Tupac ain't been nothing bigger than this. Yeah, facts. I'm like, I, man, he hit me up. Two months went by, I ain't hear from him. I was blowing him up like a groupie. Blowing him up. After a while, I said, fuck it, it's another future situation. I stopped calling him. Nigga called me on my birthday. He said, man, I got situated. Man, he didn't even know it was my birthday. Called me on my birthday. Man, I got situated. I'm in Atlanta now. I pull up. I got five grand for you. I need three videos. He called me. It wasn't even about engineering that time. He called me for a video because niggas in his clique like, this nigga cold and everything. Yeah, he do yeah, bop, yeah, bop, yeah, bop, yeah, bop, yeah, bop. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, and after that, he had dropped me a verse on Run Out of Breath. So, like. Bro, I remember that song, Shake His Zero Run Out of From the beginning, he had, he seen his little light skinned nigga, and he knew, like, this nigga special. Like, I wanna, I wanna, I'm, you know what I'm saying? And he did, yeah, he did what he did. I'm gonna tell you a funny story, bro. I was working at the airport, dog. (laughs) Look, the first time I ever met Boosie, bro, I was working at the airport. He was just getting out of jail. I seen that nigga walking down the goddamn, the shit where we was at. We was on Concourse B. Guess what I do? I said, I had a big ass boombox that said, play whatever Boosie shit you got. Play that shit. But I, I know you. I don't give a fuck if it was <laughs> curse words. Said play that shit. Nigga, they started playing. You wanna talk shit? You Hell wanna run nah. This nigga walking and everybody in the airport like this. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. He was like. He was looking. He was just like. I think I probably got on his nerves. Yeah. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know. Like Boosie, he just yeah. seemed like he a little aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm thinking I'm going off the DVD Boosie. Like he jo- he be joking around playing. They yeah. in the airport like this. That's wow. Like, oh. That's right wild. past food court. So I'm like, damn. All right. So Boosie saw that shit. Cool. <laughs> he come back to the to the kiosk because I worked in the kiosk. He start asking about a DVD player. And I don't know if he may. He, I hope he remembers this. I hope you remember. He, he might do it. So he asked, he came back. He was like, hey, can he rent like a DVD player or buy a DVD player? And I was telling him, hey, bro, like we ain't got no DVD player because this is like you just getting out of jail. Well, like DVD, DVD, player. DVD players ain't, you know what I mean? And I looked at his face. I can tell that nigga was aggravated with me. Yeah, that nigga yeah, was aggravated with yeah. me. He was just like, man, fuck it. He just walked off him and his people. <laughs> Just walked out. I was like, damn. Yeah. There goes my, uh, <laughs> my time, like me and Boosie. Then the next time yeah. I met Boosie at your video shoot. Which one? The one, the first one that you do. It was outside and we, like, you had the house. My, my niggas with Bando Jones. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Bro, I got damn, I'm like, bro, this is my idol. I'm about to go goddamn meet the meet the nigga. So I go in the house where he was at. You know, he fresh out of jail. I go to dap Boosie up. Get with, dap me up. Like, this what he do. Put your hand up. <laughs> my, boy, my boy got damn uppercut yeah, in my yeah, hand like yeah. i'm like damn boosie hey, like this yeah, my nigga like yeah. this my favorite rapper so seeing that i kind of was yeah, discouraged yeah. And i'm like bro i get it though you know yeah. what i mean like it took him a minute to adapt though to get like, back yeah, right it took so him, hopefully it took if him i meet him man. again it'll be a hell yeah, yeah he 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 totally like like them them first man them first years was tough and this them first yeah. years were tough for everybody like i don't know if nobody <laughs> it ain't number but a few folk that didn't survive that was around that time that's right. still around right like right. like you had to you know what i'm saying you had to really be bringing in a bag or you got etched out after a while because right. one you know what i'm saying he all that lollygagging gonna get on his nerves after yeah. a while all that yeah it, after a while it, it just became a straight team you yeah. know what i'm saying like facts. everybody's here is to do something facts 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 yeah. that's crazy so it's like still unreal seeing like knowing that i got the chance to meet him yeah you know what i mean and then yeah. seeing you with him is just like it's a beautiful thing yeah. you with him shit it seemed like i'm with him too. man you know it's you know y'all gonna cross paths even sure. leave it the right way now For you know sure. so. now you know yeah. I mean, and it's like doing this whole platform thing, going back to what we saying, like kind of venturing off from the music thing. I was looking at myself like, bro, man, uh, niggas know me for rap. Mm-hmm. So it's like, bro, mm-hmm. like shit, how can I cross over and do like some shit that I really want to do? And it's like yeah. I talk to people every day. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, you know what? Shit, fuck it. I'm going to start interviewing folks. And it, it, it just happened that yep. way. Yep. Start inter- yeah. inter- interviewing everybody for the show. This shit major, though. You you, you a natural with it. You, are, you always been good at speaking, though. You remember we used to, we used to do the high school tours, bro. Yeah, like a yeah, lot right. of artists ain't even built to be able to do that kind of stuff because right. they can't, you know, 
Teens, man, that's a hard. That's yeah, a hard. That's a, with you. man. Come Te- on, man. Teens listen. ain't fucking with you. Like if they <laughs> hey, don't know your song, they gonna swallow you. Yeah, they ain't. They ain't fucking with you at all. So yeah, yeah we done. We done did a lot. Mm-hmm. Damn, think about this shit, bro. Tone, mm-hmm. we done did a lot. Nah, of shit. definitely, man. One man. thing that's crazy. People still to this day think we brothers. Bro. <laughs> that was a that was, that was forever though. That like, was always like, niggas man. always say, "Yeah, I seen your brother, yep. Young Tone." I'm yep. like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, for sure." You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't nah. even know we ain't real yeah. brothers, but it's like, bro, we done been around each other for so long. Is it's if, crazy. You, if you weren't my bro, I wouldn't even say it. But I'd have had, I'd have had people mistake me for Vito before. I'd yeah, have had, like I'd, I'd have me had, I'd have had it happen before. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I don't, other other than that, it'd be like a future or something. I don't get mistake for yeah. too many other people. It's crazy, like <laughs> us us going up. We kind of did have a separate a separation mm-hmm. at one point mm-hmm. in time. Mm-hmm. We we grown now, you know what I mean, and shit like that. And if I again, I'm gonna do this on on, on camera. If I ever did some some sucky shit, bro, I apologize. Hell nah, not, you know not, 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 not that not 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 that shit, but it's just like on, on some shit like, bro, we we grown now. We can talk about it on camera. Yeah, you know I don't really we was, remember we was like this. Yeah, I don't really remember what we're wrong, but I, I just either, I never had no ill will. I felt like yeah. a lot of Atlanta shit was like that. I don't know yeah. what it was like. I always like I don't know like. Even with like young boot, like I fuck with boot, but when when I get around boot, I be like, I feel like because of I was rocking with school and stuff at one time, and then when they might have failed, I, I was on that side, yeah, and then yeah, it kind of yeah, from yeah, going, it yeah, be like yeah. a lot of little stuff, yeah, but yeah. really it probably don't be like that. Like if boot watch, he probably be like, nah, I fuck with it, you yeah, know what I'm saying? But yeah, it just yeah. be a lot of little stuff facts, facts. that don't it's get just, spoke I think, about. I think Atlanta hip hop is 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 like. We never really, everybody never really came to like a table and like, let's move as a as a unit. Mm-hmm. You see mm-hmm. them boys like people from like Texas and shit like that, how they came when Mike Jones and yeah. all them niggas came. They came yeah. all as one. Yeah, as if a city. A, if Atlanta did that shit, nigga, we'll be like this. But now, you know what I mean? Right now, we still, we trying to scramble to get right because yeah. Tennessee got it right now. Memphis got it right now. I ain't going to lie. Man. I think Memphis right. got it right now, bro. I, I think I would have drove myself crazy if I just been thinking like, like if I had to continue thinking how I was thinking, like, and I know you had to be there before mm-hmm. too, but it's like, how is certain niggas making it through the door and those still like what? Yeah. The, like how to? Yeah. Like you know, man. I'm just now good. feeling like okay, I'm good. Now yeah. Vito's yeah. name is Cement. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah. even from like the Let's Go Shopping songs and yeah. all that shit yep. that was getting a little yep. buzz, I still felt like nigga, I ain't, yeah. I ain't yeah. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. We doing shows yeah. every weekend and shit, and yep. I'm still feeling like, damn, what else do I need yep. to do? Yep. I you felt the I mean? same way about uh, no cuffing though, just because I shared so much of it, and then yeah. it ended, ended so, so badly. Where it's like I shouldn't even made the decisions I made. I should have just been selfish. Like yeah. sometimes you have to be right, you right, know, right, for the sake of the team. With, though with, with the no cuffing song, it was like, bro, like you, you got, you got them niggas. When they was goddamn basically not doing, you know what I mean? And y'all came together and you elevated them. So it should literally just be a, my yeah. nigga, thank oh, yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All y'all. And I mean, I know y'all good now, but yeah. it should be a, a you know, I that shit. I will, I, uh, I, per- I ain't got no, uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no ill will facts. toward them. I don't know how it is on their end, but shit, yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like that. Uh, I would, I would think after growing and, and people maturing, they they know exactly what happened. They know right. that, you know what I'm saying? Right. They know it could have went a whole better situation, a different way. They yeah. know they could have made better decisions right. and, you know, not believe certain things that was people trying to, people is going to try to, you know what I'm saying, infiltrate all day. Anytime you're going up and you are a unit, it's always going to be an outside motherfucker yep. trying to come in. Yep. That's in anything. Yep. That's in anything. Yep. It's always going to be a motherfucker coming in saying, hey, bro, I can do this better. I can do this job better yep. than what, bro. Yep. Come fuck with me, yep. type shit. Yep. And it's like, man, you know what I mean? Like, like my team, Nico, Scotty, and everybody. It's like, bro, I'm not finna let nobody come mm-hmm. around and be mm-hmm. like, hey, I can mm-hmm. do this better. It's mm-hmm. like, nah, I'm cool. If but, we can't do it all together, then I'm straight. And then look at it though, as, as like as time pass and the smoke clears, you still in it. You you still deep in it. You know, as the time yes. pass, I'm still in it and I'm deep, deep in it. I'm Facts. more deep in it than I ever been. You know Facts. what I'm saying? So it's like, should have just stuck around. Should have just stayed with it, you know, because the people that was, they not even, they not, they not doing it. They not doing it. And they ain't helping like, you. And they can't help you. It just go back to like, man, Atlanta, we have so many talented people. And a lot of times people get that, that one and then they fall to the waist, wayside. And it's like, I don't understand it. It's like, I feel like once you kick that dough in, you just kick it a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's time for you to run in that it's motherfucker and have all your people run in too. Yep. You know what I mean? Like yep. I'm planning on some shit to where if I, once I kick the dough all the way down, oh, yeah. all my people coming oh, yeah. in. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. Y'all putting it together real nice too. From the shows yep. to to mm-hmm. the podcast to mm-hmm. to the music. Uh, you you uh you like um what Sauce Walker doing? 
I love what Sauce yeah. Walker doing. And uh, La Russell, of course, La Russell. I know you. Yeah. I know. I know. Our, 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 you know what I'm saying? La Russell was mine, but Boosie was yours. But I, yeah. I feel like it. But you know what I'm saying? Whether well, regardless you know it or not, if you grew up listening to Boosie, you grew up listening to T.I., you Thanks. know, and, and either way, you're going to get a little bit something, you know what I'm saying, a little extra from each one, but. Bro, you was in that, uh, that video, too. <laughs> a, I forgot as about as that, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What 13 that? Oh, years old. Oh, I'm 22 yeah. in the vet in yeah, the game, yeah, bro, yeah, I seen yeah, Tone in that yeah, goddamn video, I said, yeah, nigga, that go Tone, pause it. Where the piano yeah, that's at, Tone shout right there, nigga. Yeah. That's crazy, bro, yeah. so you done been around for a long-ass yeah. time, bro, and like I said, bro, I appreciate you for Staying in that motherfucker and motivating Facts. the people like me, man, bro. Because yeah, a lot of times, you know how we get, we get in our head, we be like, man, fuck this shit, bro. Yeah, some other shit. Yeah, I, I, I hate it for the people that got deteriorated along the way and, yeah. and, and, and turned and really back stopped, and, and stopped and gave you know what up. I mean, man, it's a cause. difference from saying, like, man, fuck this shit, and then you start back doing it the next hour. You know what I yeah, mean? You hey, get yeah, frustrated, yeah, but yeah, yep. people really let their minds take over of like take over them you know what I mean? all the way all the way to where you know they they they, they can't even do it no more because they're not equipped they, 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 they mind you know, is crazy yep. bro it's mm-hmm. crazy so mm-hmm. tell the people um so water boys okay the success from that movie like i went to the i went to the movie release that yep. was so crazy bro yeah yeah like just seeing niggas niggas put that shit on we had the red yeah. carpet in that motherfucker yeah. it was crazy yeah how did the thought come about i know you know well i probably know but tell the people how did the thought come about uh i wrote i wrote the movie on I wrote the movie Water Boys originally without Boosie around or anything like that. Right. And I, I when I <clears throat> when I wrote it originally, I had in mind Corey J. Starring in it. Okay. Um, but I actually had Tyler Perry was gonna be Boosie at first. Right. He wasn't gonna be Boosie, but that was the celebrity I was gonna use. But I was actually gonna have somebody dress up like Tyler Perry. All right. Uh, and then just try to get Tyler Perry's attention like that. That was gonna be my Tyler Perry Your attention way grab. Your way in. In his world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But um I had started doing auditions for the movie and Boosie caught with for it and he he had shot me a test, like, man, pull up on me and pitch that movie to me. So pulled up on pitch to it and he was just like, Shit, I wanna do that shit. He was like then he was like, uh shit, uh, how much we need? And it, I'm just like during this time right. I was like, God damn. I'm like, ah, damn. Yeah. I ain't prepared. Yeah. I ain't even never did no big movie. Yeah. Most I done spent on a movie before this was $600. Yeah, facts. But I know how Boo is. I remember he asked me. I was like, shit, probably like 100 grand. You know? I'm just, I'm just <laughs> throwing it up out there, you know, just to see how see, he was like, all right, shit, pull up tomorrow. I'm like, now I went home like, what the fuck just happened, nigga? Man, what? That, that's crazy. Nigga, what? Like, that's crazy. Nigga, I said, damn, this shit crazy. But, you know, that's how it always happened, man. I tell you. Man, success always happen how it opposed to. You know, a lot right. of people just don't jump off that cliff, man. Don't don't be scared. You know, yeah, they don't they take that risk. They jump head first, bro. Yep. So doing yep. that, like, okay, once you did that movie, did it spark a, another idea to say, all right, bro, I'm about to keep going because now you got one with Jessica Dime. Can I? Can we talk about that? Yeah, you? yeah, definitely. We got yeah, one with definitely. Jessica Dime coming. Mm-hmm. Um, talk a little bit about that. Um. So with Water Boys, that was my first legit feature length film. Right. But I had did uh I had two movies on Tubi before that, Bloody Neighborhood Two and Best Buzz that yeah, you're in. Yeah, I was in the best and buzz. And Tubi, man, Tubi Tubi feed good. So I had already like I had already been motivated to master gas on movies after seeing my Bloody Neighborhood one check, first off. This is well before Water Boys. So when the Water Boys situation was in itself, it was just like if Bloody Neighborhood did the success it did, and I'm about to have Boosie's funding, Boosie's support, and Boosie starring in it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, man, I know, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, what's crazy is, <clears throat> you had asked me, you say, how did the final love come about? Right. I'm doing Water Boys. Jessica Dine pops out to be an extra. Well, for the Water Boys. For Water Boys. I meet her. She really just popped up to be an extra. I meet her right. on That's set. Crazy. Uh, Queen chopping it up, and she telling Jessica Dime like, you know he woo 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 woo. She telling me, you know she woo woo. I'm like, what? And then like I remember leaving from there, and I uh, came across some females, and I'm hearing them. They like Jessica Dime, why woo? I'm like, damn, she big for real. So, yeah, oh my god, the Grammy, yeah, she got yeah, <laughs> three million yeah, views. Yeah. I mean, three million followers. I'm like, damn, it's crazy how how it worked, man. Boom, we get on set the next day. We probably been doing the trouble scene at the park, and um. She was just like, she was just like, any more work you got for me, let me know. I'm down for it. You know, ooh, ooh. I'm like, shit, well, you ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing. Like, right. I hit, next time I hit her up, I hit her up with a bag. And we did find love. 
That's crazy. Yep. So the, that movie comes out in July. July seventh, the premiere. Uh, it don't come out okay. on streaming platforms in July, it, but it's it's um we're doing the red carpet premiere on July seventh. I'm yep. there. I'm yep. there. It's gonna I'm be dumb. We need but shit. Facts. You know, man, it's tough. I'm a, man, y'all done y'all done beat Golden yeah, State, they, man. Yeah, 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 yo, 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 yeah, State yeah, fan, yeah, hey, But Steph, I tell you, Steph, man, Steph, Steph, out of all players in the NBA right now, I think he has had the most shocking career. Facts. From start to finish, Facts. from where they would have projected him, and yeah, because he got hurt when he first came, them ankles was bad, yep, bad, yep, ankles um, was bad, boy. Man, and to like, see him like now, he he's he's definitely without a doubt supposed to be on that level of LeBron James when we talking about the greats and shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like do Steph you, is. Do you put him in the top five though? I don't know. That's who, tough. Who, who that's is tough. in your top five? I, uh, asked, I asked my last guess who's in your top five because, bro, I, I gotta hear this shit. I'm always a uh, so I start from like the bottom. I'm always like a. Uh, a Shaq and AI. That's just me. Facts. That's just me. Um, and even with Steph's shot, I can't right. put Steph over AI. Me personally, because what I see, I, I watch man, both of them. That nigga boy, man, bro. Like I, if, I feel like if, if if AI was six 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 seven six eight, we'd be talking about a whole different conversation. You ever met him in person? Yes. Bro, when he, I he, he, he damn, like, he damn near lost my respect. I ain't gonna lie. My really? experience, you know, he damn near lost my I respect. I ain't gonna lie, bro. My ah! my experience is way different, bro. I walked up to that nigga and said, "Bro, you my Jordan." Yeah, and yeah. He was, it, it wasn't like how Boosie did. Me. Yeah, bro, for real. Yeah. Oh, I got, <laughs> like, I got. Nah, woo-hoo. the nigga, the nigga, the nigga hugged me and everything. Man. Like, like, you know what I mean? Cumberland Mall. Uh-oh. And I never, I never forget. Like I'm. Were you young or this was like of age? Nah, right? this was like this was like no cuffing time. So I'm really oh, like shit. I'm really feeling disrespected on on <laughs> on a motherfucker. <laughs> right, right. So so fool, I um I see him in the food court, and I'm I'm really on some like bro. I'm nervous as hell I, for the first time ever. Probably like last time was when I was that's seeing AI, Michael Jackson. That's, that's, and yeah, that's, that's I'm AI, nervous, bro. so I'm really debating. And the Michael girl Jackson. I'm with, yeah, we're we gonna talk about this. Yeah, Go but uh. Boom! I'm in. I see him, and I'm I'm debating, bro. I really don't even want to don't want to go talk to him. So the girl with she like, man, just what? Go talk to him. Right. So I go up to him, man, and this during the time I remember he was going through something with like I don't know, baby mama. He had financial uh, problems. He had, he 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 wasn't getting the uh, Hall of Fame uh, uh not nominated. Yeah. There was a lot going on, and I right. felt his aura where he didn't really he didn't want to be fucked he didn't want to be fucked with didn't right. want to be bothered, which I understand as a as a celebrity person spotlight. So, right. but I called him in one of them times, and I came up to him. He just he just brushed me. Off. I'm cold shoulder so bad it was just like a like a like i'm just like uh, i was just like i want to slap across the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> like damn hey, hey, uh. damn but but i it don't it didn't it didn't it i like phase you nah because you knew what he was going yeah through. andre you know I mean? andre 3000 did the same thing to me too but what Andre yep, 3000. Yep, yep, and I done heard. I, he didn't have his flute. He wasn't playing that Man, morning. tell me about it. Like, he, he be seemed like he just be at peace with like. Well, no, them damn pretzels was more important than me at the time. <laughs> right. That's but. Crazy. Damn, that shit crazy. That yep. shit crazy. But look, man, I appreciate you for coming to vibe with me, oh, yo, wait, dog. Like, no, hey, KB bro, my last, bro. Real nigga I'm shit, supporting real nigga the shit, podcast. Bro. Anybody support me, make sure y'all get y'all ass up here and get your interview in. Even Facts. if he charging you, because you got to respect the game. Sometimes you got to pay to play. Facts. You did. Tell them folks where they can find you at. Hey, man, Tony. Go all across the board, T O N E T H E G O A T, the biggest. Go to Val, you know what I'm saying? Uh, other than that, movies July that's 7th. out. Yeah, July 7th, Final Love, starring Jessica Dine, written by Kel Bradley, directed by yours truly. Um, after that, I'm about to shoot a. I got two, two movies I'm about to do. I'm about to do a Hood Burger. And it's crazy. I said I was going to do Hood Burger, which is get a spinoff. Of, <laughs> get, I got you. You know how I used to work at Zaxby's. Got oh, yeah, man. You got to get me in that one. <laughs> we'll say that for the next interview. I was going <laughs> to actually bring that up, man, because that, that was some days, bro. I seen you go through humbling experience, and it was like, damn, right. okay, you can. Bro, like, I was proud how you handled the whole shit. But, uh, yeah. Finding love coming. I'm shooting a I'm shooting a uh, hood burger and I'm shooting a ghetto hair salon movie. So tap in if you're trying to be in the movies that's coming next. You did. Let's get it. Vibing with Vito. Vibing with Vito. My nigga is thirsty, man. That was a good <laughs> interview, boy. <laughs>